uh, you know, uh, Oculus Rift has been in the news because it got bought by Facebook. Uh, Sony has their version. I saw an interesting news article saying, well, so basically since since Facebook bought Oculus, that just, just you know, legitimate, legitimized uh, the Sony version. But there's another one called the Virtuix Omni. You, you guys remember like in the 90s, whenever you see it, like maybe at the mall, like the virtual reality, and you were on this like stand so you wouldn't fall over, you know? Uh, somebody's bringing that concept back. Um, so it's very, it's motion-based. I think there was a Kickstarter that started this off uh, to begin with. So here, there's a video on here of them playing uh, Battlefield 4. And it looks like, I can't figure out what they're kind of walking on there. And, and so it's it's kind of like a, uh, it looked to me like a bunch of spheres, almost like a treadmill. So interestingly enough, this company was on Shark Tank probably... Recently? Three weeks ago. Um, actually, I when it, I don't DVR Shark Tank, but when I when I when I get a chance and it's on, I'll, I'll definitely watch. Um, and this company, the Sharks, did not invest in. Wow. Um, and I, I actually personally thought it was a huge mistake. Um, but it, it, the interesting thing about this, so the virtu the, when they were on the show, and I don't know how much has changed and how long. Uh, from taping Shark Tank to when it hits the public. They talked about their Kickstarter campaign on there. Um, they talked about um, some places that were interested in, in getting large amounts of these. I could think of like Dave and Buster's um, being a, a, a place that would want 50 of these and you could put a bunch of people in a small confined space all in these little, little pod. Oh, it's not a pod, but almost like a little treadmill with a with circle around you um, and let people kind of compete. Um, the one thing they did say is in the, in the, that the people on the show brought up, you know, it, the, the demo they gave it was actually using an Oculus Rift. Mm -hmm. um, the device does not come with goggles. It does not come with the gun. Um, it doesn't come with much. It's pretty much like the treadmill that can then plug into some different... So they're um, more like an accessory. Yeah, this is more of an... It's they're a, an it's accessory a to the accessory. accessory that you need, you need some space in your house for. One of the things I thought was, this is one of those things that you could probably get your parent into buying um, based on the fact that, you know, it's it's a connect type thing or whatnot, where you're, where you're going to be moving, you're going to kind of get some exercise. You do have to actually buy their shoes as well. Um, <laughs> they got all so that, kinds of buy-in on this thing. <laughs> yeah. So, so it, it, it is definitely a start with this and, and keep buying accessories. Um, the one cool thing that they, when, when you kind of run, if you notice that person in the video running, they're actually pushing up against that ring. So that's what actually keeps you kind of upright. And, and I think when they showed it, when they showed someone from the shark tank, just jump into it, it took them a while to get used to mm -hmm. the virtual reality and the running. Like they kind of fell forward, but because that bar was there, they were able to kind of hold themselves up in place and keep running with it. So I, I think it's definitely an interesting concept. I could see it taking off. Um, I did hear on another podcast where they were where they were talking about this device, and um, they were saying that it actually caused it, it was great for about three to five minutes, and then it caused an excruciating headache. Jeez, oh, and that's the problem with I've, a lot of these. Yeah, which I've heard a lot about um, the, the the any of the goggles. There, there, it has to do something with the way that the mind perceives motion. Obviously, if you're, I think if you're if you're prone to motion sickness, it's definitely going to be a problem, but it also has to do with something in the way frames per second and what you actually see in frames per second and these devices aren't keeping up um, with how your mind interprets video, which can, can cause a lot of people headaches. So mm -hmm. I, 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 th I think it's something that can be fixed through software or, or hardware updates in the future, but it's definitely keep this in mind before you, you rush out and buy one. Not to mention the amount of space it's going to take up in your house, especially if you have more than one kid that's going to want to use this at a time. And that's, that's the problem with them. Because, you, yeah, you have 
your, your vision needs to sync up with the rest of your senses, right? Um, and I think I talked about this when they were making a lot of noise on Kickstarter a bit, but the, the technology that, um, that they had for... Uh, uh, that